name is Chelsea Sautel, primary writing instructor at Blackfriar Farm in Kingston Springs, Tennessee, and today we will be discussing the parts of the bridle and how to properly bridle your horse. The bridle is one of your main communication points with your horse. It can tell you to go, slow, stop, turn right, turn left, and is basically one of your main aids in controlling your horse. It can help you change rhythm within a gate, move up or downwards in a gate, as well as navigate through obstacles. What we have here is a basic English dressage bridle with flash. The reins connect directly with the bit and is your main form of communication. This is a Lodgins French Link Snaffle. This is the cavasson, it goes around the nose of the horse, and the flash, which is used to hold the bit up against the horse's soft palate. The cheek pieces, the brow band, the crown piece, and the throat latch. When bridling your horse, it is important to have control of them at all times. When bridling your horse, it is important to have control of them at all times. Slide the reins over the horse's neck prior to removing the halter. That way, should your horse spook or move, you have control of them. Sliding your right hand over the pole of the horse's head, hold the crown piece of the bridle. Using your left hand, cradle the bit and slide it into the horse's mouth, gently pulling up on the crown piece as you do so. Gently push the horse's ears through the crown piece of the bridle and behind the brow band. Next, you will want to fasten your cavasson or nose band. The cavasson should be snug, but not stifling. Make sure to place all leather ends in their keepers. Next, fasten your flash. Once again, the flash should be snug, but not tightened so tightly that the horse is unable to catch its breath. Please note the entire time I have my arm looped through the reins to prevent my horse from moving during bridling. The final phase of bridling is to fasten the throat latch. You should be able to fit your fist through the throat latch. It should not be tight or restricting in any way. Its sole purpose is to prevent the horse from shaking its head and having the bridle become dislodged from behind the ears and come off of the head. In conclusion, when bridling your horse, you want to make sure to have control of them at all times. Be gentle when inserting the bit into the mouth as to not hit any teeth, and be gentle and careful as you place the ears in front of the brow band as to not damage their soft tissue.